Henri Rousseau was a French self-taught painter. He loved to paint the jungle even though he never went to one. He would visit the zoo and the botanical gardens to study all the plants and animals. When you look at the, his paintings, notice all the different shapes of the plants and how many different shades of green he uses. Oftentimes, he would sneak some surprises into his jungle scenes. Today, we will create our own jungle scene using different shades of green, and we will learn how to draw a tiger. We're gonna get started on our background for our Rousseau tiger. Uh, we are going to be using oil pastels to draw our plants. If you remember some of his paintings, he had a variety of tropical plants, um, some orange trees, agave plants. Think about the shapes. You can incorporate a variety of these into your artwork. Um, part of it will be covered up with your tiger, and that's okay. So make sure you make the edges really stand out. You can go a little light on the inside because your tiger will be there. Um, if I was to do an agave plant at the bottom, I'd start out with a couple curved lines reaching up. I'm going to use some overlapping put some smaller ones up there. If I want to do a little texture inside, I'll do a little repeating line. Maybe I have um, a tall flower with curved leaves. It's always exciting to have things go off the page, so try to incorporate that as well. Um, I can have some big leaves coming in. Get the veins of the leaves. Maybe I want to repeat that and have a smaller overlapping one. Maybe I have a big like fan plant coming in off this corner. It's easier to rotate your paper. Um, when you feel like you have enough plants, we can start painting. We are gonna be using these. These are like opaque watercolors. Um, I'd like you to try to use a variety of greens. If I use that straight, I get a little water, blend it in there. And go right on top of my oil pastel. I'm just using that green straight. Maybe I want to get a little darker green on the inside. I don't want to do too many of the same color right next to each other. So I could put the dark green. Maybe I'll pick up a little bit of the blue and mix that right on the paper. And grab some yellow. Looks like I still have a little bit of green left in my brush. Give it a nice chartreuse. I'm just blending the colors right on top.
I have a little flower here. Maybe I'll give it a little punch of color. We can also put in some tissue paper flowers when everything's dry and glued down. Now for the background. I want to choose, you can have it at night and do the black. I use black here. Maybe I'll try on this one, this dark blue. Could even use like a purple. Go all the way to the edges. To our side, we'll get out our oil pastels and our orange paper. We are going to create our tiger. We are going to start with white oil pastel. I want you to find the center. We're going to start with our eyes. So I'll do two dots. Then these two dots on the inner edge, I'm going to come down. This is going to be the bridge of our tiger's nose. Come across. We're going to form a triangle and color that in. My oil pastel needs to be peeled a little bit because I don't have a tip on there. So find the edge and rip a little bit off. Now we're going to have two curved lines as part of his little muzzle with his chin so we don't get confused we'll go ahead and color that nose in i'm using pink it looks a little light i could grab a little bit of red with that white on top it will stay pink or on bottom just to darken it up if you want go back to the white and we'll do a nice solid coloring of the mouth. Go ahead and pick up a color for your eyeballs. Now we can go ahead and outline if you want to give, whoops, tiger eyes. You can come to points. You can have the slits. Outline your nose. Give him some whiskers. Let's go back to our white. From the little muzzle part, oops, you are going to come up and around for the head. And we'll add the ears. Go back to the black. Take your time and stay on that line. Oh my gosh. Now we can give him some stripes. So, I've done a couple lines. Now I can go ahead and do a little zigzag line on top. I might want to add some tufts of white fur. Wow, really pressing too hard. Come 
on the inside. If it helps you to draw little curved lines like that and then zigzag to the edge, you can do that. Let's go ahead and give them a couple shoulders coming out from the side of the head. We can even give him a little tuft of fur for his belly, a couple arms. Some more stripes. And if you have room, you can add a tail. Now we can go ahead and cut him out. All right, we got our background. We're going to flip our tiger over with some wet glue. I want you to dot along the edges, not up to the very edge. And you can add some dots in the middle. With two hands, hold your tiger. We can't have him like this. His body needs to touch the bottom, like he's popping out of the jungle. Try not to smear your hands. It's best if you turn this over. Let's add just a couple flowers in here to overlap on top of our tiger. I can draw a little dot and then loop out. Or I could draw a dot and have pointed flowers. Or a purple one. I could do a flower like this. I'm going to go ahead and add a little color. Or you can cut this out. And glue that on top. If you want to give it some leaves, you can use some scrap paper here. I folded it in half so I could get a couple leaves. Do the veins to give some added oops added texture decide how you want your flowers to go I think I'm gonna put one going right off the page here took a leaf in this one I could have come up there oops but maybe I want this one down here too I could even use a different color of leaf.
And there we have our Henri Rousseau Jungle Tiger.